go drop their beat. I woke up this morning like I got a dick going. Tomorrow's not coming, so I live in the moment. It's a good day to have a good day. Hi you guys, this is your reborn mommy and today I am going to be doing a video on telling you guys how to prepare for your first reborn doll. So I know a lot of y'all is, um, is getting y'all first reborn doll and y'all been wanting me to make this video y'all and I have, um, I have, what's her name? I have, I forgot what baby this is right here y'all, I'm tripping. I have baby, baby Ivy right there. So today I'm gonna to be talking about how to prepare your her um her little things is coming out her hair, her little edges that I messed up is coming out. But today I'm gonna to be telling you guys how to prepare for your first reborn baby. So first of all, when it comes down to your first reborn doll buying your first reborn doll you do not want to get scammed do not go on the websites where they got these pretty dolls for like under 130 dollars because i guarantee you it's not gonna come looking like this so don't get scammed basically where i buy my reborn babies from is definitely from ebay um you can you can buy real reborns from off of ebay you can get your money back and all that but when you are getting prepared for a reborn doll you do not need all that extra stuff like a stroller or a car seat unless you want that um but you don't need to be extra all you need is some clothes for it you can go to like the thrift store nothing extra nothing not out the ordinary because i know for my dolls i do i have a lot but basically because i make youtube videos with my dolls i do a lot of routine videos and a lot of stuff like that so that's why i have so much because i gotta keep y'all entertained right but literally y'all your first reborn doll you don't need that much of stuff all you need is a couple clothes go to the thrift store go to grasses and if you want a car seat go to a thrift store like the ark the ark be having stuff cheap as heck that's how i really started off with my reborn babies from uh from going to grasses because my mom goes to grasses a lot so that's another thing but all you really need is clothes, a little bottle if you want to play with it. You don't need like a lot of extra stuff, y'all. Like just, just the simple stuff. Like the stuff that you feel like that you want for your baby, that's the best thing. Now, when it comes down to taking your baby out in public, make sure your baby is wearing something that fit the weather. Make sure that it's realistic looking, basically. Because when I go out, I don't get looks. I really don't get looks. If I do get looks... I don't really be paying attention and I don't be realizing but I feel like I really don't get looks cuz I'm very confident when I go out but that's the really the only tips that I can give y'all to be prepared for a reborn when you're taking your reborn out make sure if it's like cold don't make sure you put socks on the baby feet even if it's a doll or not but you still want to make it look very realistic but prepare for your real pre prepare for your reborn doll you do not have to go to Walmart and buy this and buy that and then and that. No, go to the thrift store, pick up some baby stuff. That stuff is cheap. You could like put like $30 on the side and you could get a whole lot from the thrift store or go out there. Even though all this corona stuff is going on, so I don't know what to expect y'all, but yeah. But I really wanted to um, make that video for y'all because y'all been asking me how to prepare for your first reborn. Go to the thrift store and get some baby stuff. Don't go to the store and buy brand new stuff. No, you don't need real baby food. And no, I do not use real baby food. I use lotion, food coloring, and as the milk, I use powder. So, yeah, I'm just giving y'all some quick little tips. But I started off with my babies was just clothing from the thrift store. Like, groceries, you can buy a whole bin of clothing like for like $20. It be so cheap, y'all. That's why I recommend it. But if you want to, like, buy stuff for your reborn doll, I advise you to buy it used and not brand new. Even though I, I do be going to Walmart and buy brand new stuff for my reborn dolls. Because I have so many and I don't really go to groceries no more because I don't like waking up early in the morning on a Saturday or Friday. But, y'all, I'm sweating. I'm hot. So, I recommend. I'm sorry. 
I recommend going to the thrift store and shopping for your rebar. Though. That's how you prepare for your first rebar. But make sure you guys do not get scammed by these websites. Because when you type in rebar doll, you see all these fake websites and all these sites that's just... The baby is not going to come looking like that. And make sure y'all buy from website. Make sure y'all look it up on YouTube to see how the doll is going to look before you get it. Because you're going to be disappointed. Disappointed. I don't want y'all disappointed. Disappointed at all. But if y'all want to know who made my Reborn Tyler, go on my shopping video that I did with Shari L. That's my most viewed video. And the link is in the comment section. And I think it's pinned. Pin it. So if y'all want a doll that looks just like her, or like Shari L, or looks similar like her, go watch my um, shopping video. My most viewed video. And the link is going to be in the comment that I have pinned. Now these dolls customized is like 300 400 something dollars. So be looking to spend some cha-chain, baby. But I have my little one back here, y'all. Sorry if y'all seen any food on my um, bed because I surely was eating. Y'all was making TikTok. She girl is addicted to TikTok. So make sure you guys go follow me on TikTok at Young, Young Reborn Mommy. I'm at the top, baby. Make sure y'all go do that. But anyway... I wanted to make this video to help you guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.